Hello and welcome to my channel. The reason why I'm doing this video is to talk a little bit about my experience at GOT7's fan meet in Miami. So since I live in Florida, I went to the Miami uh, one at the Fillmore Center. Yeah, Fillmore Center. It was a couple weeks back so by the time I get this video up it's gonna be a, a while since it's passed. So stick around, enjoy. I'm gonna be talking about some of the points um, that people might have missed during the concert and I'm gonna be showing a little bit of the activities we did while we were waiting in line. So stick around. Now like I mentioned before we're from well, when I said we're, I meant I went with my sister and my other friend. Uh, we drove down from Orlando to Miami. Uh, we drove down the day before. Um, other friends were joining us, but they drove down the day of the concert. So we, it was nice that, you know, we we're going to have a lot of people there that we know. And also I knew people that lived in Miami, so it was nice to see them as well. Um, when we got there, um, Friday afternoon about 3 o'clock, we decided to go out and get some food and look around, you know, check out the Fillmore Center to see where we're gonna need to line up and everything. Um, we started walking there around 7 o'clock at night. So when we were walking, we kind of saw a couple people there already. So we were like, wow, these people are lining up already. Like, that's dedication. So we talked to them a little bit and my sister was like, I want to stay overnight. And I'm like, you want to camp out? And like I was planning, originally I was planning on getting there 5 o'clock in the morning, the Saturday, which is the day of the concert. So after thinking about it a little bit, my friend and my sister decided to stay overnight um, at in line in the P1, um, yes P1 line, which we originally bought P2 tickets, uh, my sister won P1 tickets. So. We tried to give away our P2 tickets, but our friends couldn't make it because of other obligations. So we decided, hey, why not? We'll take both badges, which P1 gives you photo and P2 gives you high touch. So we'll be getting both. So my sister and my friend stayed all night in the P1 line. And by the time I get there, I think it was about 6 o'clock that morning. It was about, I was 16th in line and then there was other people lined up after me because my friend was holding a spot for me. Um, he had P2s, just me and my sister that had P1. So after I came, he went and started holding his P2 line, uh, or spot in line. So um, let me see, uh, okay we're waiting, we're waiting, of course we, when you wait in line, um, a lot of people there are very friendly so you talk to them and you, you, you know, it's very easy to make friends and during all that they had um, random K-dancing or they just played random music, of course. My friend, who I'm pretty sure everyone who's been to this fan meet recognizes right off the bat, he's the guy with the boombox walking around and he's pretty much the hype man. So we did random dancing, you know, talked and everything. So. Um, 12 o'clock rolls around on Saturday and we got our badges. Um, then I believe P1s got to enter first at 5 o'clock, so we entered. Uh, then every, we waited for the venue to fill up. Now during that time, um, while it was being filled up, like it didn't take, it wasn't that long of a wait. Usually, oh, yeah, usually we're used to waiting a while for the concert to get filled up and to start but it happened pretty fast so after that happened um, of course let's jump right into it the concert begins okay now at the start of the fan meet there was a couple stools on the stage already so I kind of realized that it's not gonna be this big entrance that you're used to it's gonna be something a little bit calm and mellow which I'm totally fine with so the guys came on stage, uh, they sang a couple songs, and right away I noticed some of the guys was having uh, technical difficulties with their mic and their earpiece. I believe it was uh, Bam Bam's mic was acting up and yu gi -Oh couldn't hear anything. So they got that fixed pretty quickly. Um, but that's one thing I would like to point out. They, had a, they encountered a lot of hiccups while being on stage. But I have to commend them for rolling with it and giving us a great performance, like despite what was going on. Um, they were really great with interacting with the crowds and just picking up where they left off. 
So after they got that sorted out, they did a, um, let me see, they came on stage and they introduced themselves one by one of course and that's when we pretty much get to see their personalities. Um, now Jackson is my bias and JB is my bias wrecker but I was seated um, across from them like they were on the opposite side of the, um, the stage and I was seated in front of Bam Bam and Yukim which I, I was not complaining. Bam Bam was awesome with our section. Our section was awesome period. Like The fan interactions we had with them was really great. Now at this section of the fan meet, the guys were answering questions both from the translator and from audience members. So the way they did the questions were we were supposed to submit an, pretty much an application online a couple either days or weeks before the actual event. And I guess they um, put them all on the poster board and they picked from that poster board. So they picked uh, questions from it. and. Pretty much all the questions went to Bam Bam and included him either singing or dancing in some way or another. Check it out. dance some of the members either completely turned around or just turned their face like I'm, I'm not watching that next up was the game section so after they did their introductions dancing and whatnot it was time for um, choosing the teams for the games now they did this weird kind of sit game to choose the members so pretty much after all that was sorted out they it was team um, I think it was Parkson versus Team Young and Rich. So and JB, JB, yeah, JB was the one who would be being the, I guess the, the odd man out. Uh, he, they were playing charades. I guess I should have started out with that, but yeah, they were playing charades. So they had uh, Parkson, they had Team um, Young and Rich, and JB was the one who was guessing for the teams. So. They got three words which they had to perform a gesture and then JB would have a chance to 
say what that gesture is. If it gets right, they get the point. Um, J team Parkson end up winning, even though we tried to help Team Young and Rich cheat. Eh, we failed really bad at doing so. <laughs> Three, two, one. charades game of course the losers had a punishment so the punishment for team young and rich was they had to inhale helium and perform their part of the song heart carry so they had to perform their part of heart carry while singing with a really high pitch voice which was really funny to see especially yugyum um just check it out <laughs> just check it out Let's go. Let's Let's fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, I got this right 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 Alright Let's go, let's go Let's go, let's go Let's go, let's go Dance, dance, dance. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? We Okay, so the next part of the games were Know That Song. This is where they brought contestants or friends onto the stage. Uh, earlier when we were entering they gave us some raffle tickets so they would pretty much randomly draw people from the state from the audience and they'll go up and participate with their um, member so each member got a number and that number corresponded to a fan and that fan became partners with that band member so after everyone was up on stage they started playing know that song so pretty much they'll play like a tiny part of the song and then you have to guess what that song was. I'm kind of glad I wasn't picked to go on stage because number one, I'm kind of shy so I'll just stand there anyways and not do anything. And number two, I have no idea how they guess those songs just by hearing a pretty much just one beat. Like they're pretty damn good. Let's play it one more time. Oh, yeah. Can we play a little bit? 
more, a little bit more, tad bit more. Is it a little bit. Here? Song number four. was so funny she gave him the wrong answer and her reaction was hilarious just take a look Okay, so during this time they were performing a couple songs and dances, including Just Right, which um, they encounter, like I mentioned before, one of the hiccups on stage. Um, during Just Right, the song cuts off completely and it left everyone with a confused look on their face including the you know the guys so instead of just halting the show and trying to pick it up from the top the fans started singing with the band members and they just went with it and so they and that was their opportunity i guess to get some fan service in which one of the girls i met in line hi jossie um she got some great fan service from both, I, guess, I believe it was um, JB and Jackson. So Jackson came over and started singing with her. He placed a mic to her lips and started singing during Just Right. And then he walks off the stage and JB found that as an opening. I don't know if he had his eyes on us or her or what, but he like makes like a beeline over to us and I think it has something to do with Jackson because Jackson looked like he said something to him because he had a really weird smile when he was coming over to us so he came over and he was just like crouched down at us and he is just like looking at us like and we're just losing our minds and I, at that point, I realized like hands were sprouting from all over me. There was about four to five different hands with phones or cameras like holding up to him, um, probably to have him like 
to record him or either have him take their cameras to record either way I was one of them which brings me to a part of the just right dance uh, I believe it was Jackson was dancing and he found a walkie-talkie I think on the ground so he picked it up and he showed it to someone else and he just like scoots it across the floor so I'm glad he was able to do that because we don't want the you know the guys hurting themselves or anything like that there's a lot I probably forgot to talk about during this fan meet, but if I, while I'm editing all these videos, I'm gonna put them in. Also, if it wasn't for recording almost everything that happened, like a lot of it would be fuzzy and blurry. You know, during the concert, you know, you're just so in the moment, you get lost in everything. But um, after the concert, we pretty much went straight into uh, photo op. So we were the second group to go on stage. Um, I don't know how it worked out, but I got to sit next to Jackson, of course, like, at first I was saying, like, hi to them, like, I would turn around and be like, hi, how are you, and things like that, and then when I looked, turned around to look at the camera, I felt this embrace on my back, and I'm like, wait, what's happening, what's happening right now, and I felt like this presence, like, somewhere, like, in my bubble like you know when someone enters your personal bubble you can just you, you get this feeling and then I saw a hand came out like that I started pointing to the camera and I'm like what should I do should I try to hold his hand like should I I don't want to turn around and look at him because I don't want you know the picture to be taken with me like that you know the back of my head or anything or the side of my face but like I just decided to like point with him like eh, like like kind of like creepy <laughs> but the picture came out all right which I'm very thankful for I'm gonna include it so you guys can take a quick peek at it um, then after that we went into high touch which uh, I just met up with my other friends that was in P2 and we did pretty much did high touch together which I got to say hi to all the members um, after that Alright, sorry about that. The camera cut off because of my battery was low, but I switched the battery so we're back up. So pick trying to pick it up where I left off. So pretty much after we did um photos and high touch, we went around the back to um see the guys leave. And oh my gosh, it was chaos back there. Like security guards were yelling, get out of the road and you know, of course, you know, everyone wants like a little uh like a glimpse of seeing the guys one more time before they leave so everyone is like, running everywhere um we the guy as they were exiting they stopped at a window and i don't know what member it was because everyone was kind of like crowding around and pushing and whatnot but i tried to record a little bit of the chaos but i was in was oh, texting me okay but anyways yeah so we were we were trying to get like a little recording of the little window above the um, above the room of uh, what was going on but I didn't get anything but some of the members was passing through there and one of them kind of like stuck his head out a little bit and of course craziness erupts. And after that we just pretty much went, uh, met up with a couple of our friends, got some food to eat and went back to the um, hotel room. It was nothing big like usually after a big event like a concert or a convention or anything like that we'd like to go out and get some uh, Korean barbecue or you know some food like to really celebrate the event but we were so tired we were like no we just want to go back to the hotel and sleep so that's what we did and the next day we drove back to Orlando and we just pretty much had these uh, grins on our faces the whole time and just was on cloud nine so uh, that's pretty much the end of what happened. I just have one more bonus series that's coming up.